Good morning. Here's today's word of blessings for you. Proverbs 16 1 to 3. To humans belong the plans of the heart, but from the Lord comes the proper answer of the tongue. All a person's ways seem pure to them, but motives are weighed by the Lord. Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and He will establish your plans. Today's title is Managing with Divine Wisdom. We need wisdom every day and everywhere. There is no part of life where we can survive without wisdom. We need wisdom in study, works, businesses, and family. God gave us wisdom with which we can not only survive but thrive. Man is very wise. But do you know what is the greatest wisdom of all? The greatest wisdom of man is to know his own finitude. In other words, the greatest wisdom of man lies in humility and trust in the wisdom of the mighty God. That's why the most prominent theme of the book of wisdom is the fear of God and the trust in the Lord. That is the crown of wisdom. Most people know something. But they hardly know how much they do not know. Immature people think what they know is all there to know. This is why the great Greek philosopher Socrates said, Know yourself. It actually means knowing how much you don't know. But that is not the end of the story. Once you know that you don't know much. What can be the wisest thing you can do? You can go to someone who knows best and borrow his wisdom. We do this with people. It brings forth not a little benefit. But the differences of wisdom among people are generally not that great. We basically think and act within the same boundary. We rarely can think out of boxes. We are all stuck at some point and can't go further. How can we have a breakthrough with fresh out of box ideas and insights? It can only come from God who sees everything deeper and farther. I believe that what today's passage meant when it says to the human belongs the plans of the heart but from the Lord comes the proper answer of the tongue. Our thoughts and ideas will better be filtered by God's wisdom. By doing this, we can avoid a lot of mistakes and mishaps. What do you do if you want to be wise in everything? Commit to the Lord whatever you do big or small, hard or easy. In other words, trust all your life in the Lord so that He may manage your business, your family, and your life. He will establish your plans. You will rejoice in the bountiful fruits of the divine management. Amen.